way this is beef stroganoff in an instant pot but basically you're going to need beef stock cream of mushroom soup ground beef salt and pepper garlic mushrooms onions extra wide noodles and again i may have forgot some things um, i'm going to go ahead and get this camera set up i put some oil in here to get the beef browned and uh, we'll just go from there Gonna go ahead and get the beef browned. Basically getting the beef sauteed and then I'll bring you back. While I'm waiting on the uh, hamburger to brown, on saute I went ahead and I cut up the onions I measured out two and a quarter cups of beef stock and it does look like the hamburger is done so next I'm going to add the onions and you're supposed to use eight ounces of mushrooms but I got 16 they need to used up I'm just going to go ahead and use them so we're going to add the onions the mushrooms and the garlic to the beef Here's the onions. The garlic, I think it's supposed to be about a teaspoon. I just gonna eyeball it because it's usually what I do. Basically one clove, I believe. So I eyeballed it, that's in there. Mushrooms. If I would have had moral mushrooms, I would have used them, but I've used up all my moral mushrooms already, so I'm glad that spring is right around the corner. Never have enough mushrooms anyways. Give us a stir. You are supposed to let the garlic, mushrooms, beef, and everything saute for one minute. Then you are supposed to add one tablespoon of flour, which I'm getting ready to do now. There's one tablespoon of flour. One can of cream of mushroom soup. You're also supposed to add the beef broth. So two and a quarter cups of beef broth. You're also supposed to add eight ounces of extra wide egg noodles and give that a stir. Next thing you are supposed to do is put the lid on, high pressure, two minutes. Pressure cook, set the time, two minutes. Okay, after the time is up, go ahead and release the pressure. Give it a quick stir. Make sure that everything is covered up. Some of the noodles on the top could be a little bit different color. But if you'll stir them up and wait a few minutes, it'll all go ahead and be fine. What you're going to do now, you're going to wait, oh, I don't know, three to five minutes. Then you're going to put one third cup of sour cream in it 
and also uh, if you have fresh parsley use fresh parsley if you got dried parsley you can use dried parsley I guess and I'm too lazy to dig out the parsley so there's what we look like there's what it looks like in the instant pot and uh, basically whatever I don't eat I'll stick in a bowl after it cools down stick it in the refrigerator it is really really good I was craving this. Anyways, hope you like this. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.